Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited to be here as always. So today's flavor of the week is none other than Patula. Patula has a brand new launch, new collection, new drop, however you want to say it. And the newest is their Seamless collection. So I'm super excited, as you can imagine, that they're dropping their first ever Seamless collection. I have never ever seen Patula drop a single Seamless legging or sports bra, biker shorts, anything at all. And it is very exciting to finally see them step up and join the seamless the new seamless invasion that's happening because everything lately is seamless if you like seamless stay tuned we're gonna dive right into this haul and i'm gonna be giving you guys all the details that i can possibly give you sizing compression booty scrunch everything and very important price because it all comes down to how much money this is gonna cost you. Petula is personally one of my favorite brands. They're really getting into a lot of things lately. They've been doing, uh, for God's sakes, they've been doing pajamas, robes, blankets. They've been doing obviously socks and scrunchies, headbands lately. They've been doing seamless. They've been doing, I mean, all they have to do is hit swimsuits and that's it. Uh, Petula, <laughs> They blow my mind every single time. They are incredible. The quality of their clothes is outstanding. It is top, top tier. Ask anyone. Don't just take my word for it. Look up on YouTube. I invite you to look at other reviews out there and see what they say. They're affiliates or non-affiliates, which by the way, I'm not an affiliate. To be honest with you, I know that they are a little bit expensive. Not as expensive as some other brands out there. You know, Alo Yoga, Lululemon. That's a lot of money. But Petula is mid-range, but they are such a great brand and I am so excited to begin this entire haul. I will remind you that I am not affiliated with them. I think I said that already. I'm not sponsored by them. This is a haul that I purchased with my own sweet little money and I am giving you guys my honest review. Everything that I say is authentic. There is no persuasion for me to give it a good review. So I will be brutal and I will be truthful and I will stop talking and we're gonna get into it. So this is a bit of a mini haul. There isn't that much here. There's shorts and sports bras and of course a beautiful sweater because you know I had to try but it is not huge so this video is not gonna be that long but it still will be fantastic. I hope, I hope you guys think so too. I think I might need to mention this haul is a bit of a restock as well. They did restock a couple of things that they have had on their website for a while. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know that these things sold out, but it really doesn't surprise me because they're like one of some of their best selling items right now. So I'll tell you which ones those are. I have reviewed these and I will link it down below also in my description you will find all of my measurements so if you're curious how much i weigh how much i measure and all that good stuff it'll be down in the description below so the things that they restocked are the sierra leggings 26 inches and 23 inches they also restocked the brahmi which is one of my favorite tops and the sierra short six and four inches so all of those things have restocked apart from this seamless haul but all of these colors they're all matchy matchy with each other so say you wore not happy with the seamless they have some cool stuff that, that has restocked and if you do want to mix and match they have options for you okay and next up we have the title seamless sports bra and this is the color dune i like how sometimes i wonder if they plan this that the movie dune comes out around the same time as a sports bra and the color dune i wonder if they do these things on purpose i wonder if they time them correctly i can't be the only one that wonders these things what do you guys think so this bra is a nice seamless material it is very very ribbed i'll show you right here what it looks like as you can see you see how that those lines cutting across right there that's basically how it is all throughout in the center you can see how that pattern changes and then we have like a very basic nice stretchy elastic in the bottom this is how it looks in the back the petula logo right there you see the petula logo is very loud just like on the shorts and leggings but i don't really mind that 
much on the bra. I know that's kind of strange, but it doesn't bother me as much on a bra as it does on a legging. Just because I feel like the logo is just larger. So this is how it looks in the back. It is very strappy. I already tried on this bra and when I first put it on, I thought to myself, oh my God, I'm in love. I just love strappy bras like this. I think they're more flattering than like having like a bandeau on that basically has all of your back wide open. I think that the strappiness is more attractive in my opinion for a back. I think it just, it looks fantastic. So this one does have removable cup pads. If you saw my last launch, which I'll go ahead and mention it up here just because I'm touching the subject. I'm so thankful when sports bras come to us, the consumers, us, the customers with removable cup pads, especially that they come with the actual cup pads because it's just such a shame when they sell something to you that has the little room for a cup pad and then they don't sell you the cup pad. I just think that's a shame. Yes, they do have the cup pads inside. You can remove them if you want. And that's how it looks on the inside. You can tell there's pretty much a pattern going on in here too, but this fabric on the inside is much softer than the ribbing on the outside. So you're not gonna feel any of that ribbing harsh fabric up against your skin on your breast. So it's very nice. Like I said, once again, that Petula high quality, nice and soft brushed feeling on the inside. It even contours for your breasts. If you spill out a little bit, not a big deal but you have that nice ribbed elastic band helping you stay in place. Don't know if I mentioned this, but this is a size medium and pretty much everything I got here today, except for the sweater is a size medium. So legging shorts, sports bras. Let's go try it on. Okay, and now we have the Dune bra. <laughs> I just remember the name Dune. So this bra, very similar to the other one. It is just, very soft even though it is a ribbed material i do have the cup pads on and they feel super comfortable however if i wanted to take off the cup pads just like the other bra you could definitely do it and i don't think you would need to be afraid of nippage because this material is so thick that i don't think you could see any nippage through it so if you want to feel safe to take off your cup pads i definitely think that you could do so it has a nice flattering kind of a scooped neckline nothing so crazy but very nice and modest it is very comfortable i feel like my breasts fall perfectly right on this elastic which is not cutting into me at all there is just a lot of stretch right here the sports bar is great to even lounge because it feels so soft and comfortable against my skin there isn't any spilling out i feel like the sizing is very true to size this is a size medium and i decided to stick to my true size medium for this one and it feels just right so as you can see the side boob coverage is very good and it is not cutting into me at the size at all. It is very stretchy. I don't have any extra fabric over here either and everything is just nice and stretchy. So these straps, they do open up if you wanted them to, if you wanted to split them or you could keep them all together. It's basically up to you, but I do not feel like these straps are cutting into me at all. I've been wearing them for, let's say about two hours now and I do not feel like I'm being cut into or the weight of my breasts are making it, making myself droop down to the point where I have compression up here. I feel comfortable. Maybe if I spent like a full eight hour day, you would have some cutting in. But for me right now, I don't feel cut in. I feel totally comfortable. So this is how this bra looks in the back. I feel like the, the flattering effect is like full on right here. Patula and their strappy backs, I just have to say I love them. I love how they always crisscross each other and it just makes the back look so very flattering. If there is any cutting in, I feel like it's minimal and I definitely don't feel it constricting me at all and not even along this waistband back here even though it is ribbed and some ribbed like some ribbed materials sometimes can cut in a little bit but in the case for this bra I definitely don't feel like that's going on at all so I'm gonna go ahead and do a jump 
And this one, similar to the other one, is light to medium support, somewhere between light and medium. I feel like I could say right smack in the middle. Light and medium support. So it's definitely up to you if you wanna go ahead and size down, it'll definitely give you a little bit more hold. However, it might, might just cut into you, into your neck. It just depends on you, how you prefer to have them. So, and to be honest with you, I feel like this matchy matchy set is just so nice. I okay guys, and this is the Razor Longline Seamless Sports Bra. And this one is also in size medium and obviously color black. So I do have to say that I've been wearing this one for a little while now. And for me to say that a rimmed sports bra is comfortable is really rare. I usually stay away from ribbed materials. They are just not me. I don't like them. I don't know if they like me, but I really don't like them. They're not my thing at all. They're usually made of this material that's just cutting in all the time and feeling quite very uncomfortable. But these sports bras, this sports bra is not like that at all. It is a very heavily it is a very heavily ribbed material as you can see just like the other one it has this area where the ribbing just does a different pattern right down the middle getting a little bit wider towards the bottom and then you have this nice thick long line strap to make it a long line bra and it is a nice flattering neckline you'll see when i try it on right now but it is just very very nice and soft but a very thick material so if you wanted to take out the cup pads and wear this one just as is without the cup pads i don't think you would have to fear any nip spillage any of that happening or showing through such a thick bra like this because really really guys it is thick without having the cup pads on it is really thick and the fact that it's black girls even if you get cold i think that you'll be fine it is really a thick material i can't express that or i can't make it any more clear it's very very thick so it is very nice and ribbed. This is how it looks in the back. It has the most beautiful, I just love these like connectors right here in the center. How they always create these strappy bras that connect right in the center like a large X. And the fact that it's like a dual strap makes it just look so flattering for your backs, okay? And then you do have the large Petula logo, but it's in the back so it's not quite so present or at least not in your head it does make it easier for you if someone at the gym said oh wow i really like that sports bra well oh it says patula let me just write it down piece of cake no one has to ask you anything but some of us don't like these giant billboards so just like the other sports bra this is how it looks on the inside so the inside is a nice soft material it isn't exactly brushed but it feels almost like a little silky okay so not like a performance legging but definitely nice and soft so this won't be like scratching or uncomfortable on your breasts themselves they'll be covered in this nice soft material and there won't be anything bothering you the center you can see how it contours to help separate you give your girls a nice comfortable experience and basically the inside is all like that the patula tag is printed on on the inside which thank you patula we don't have any hanging tags they are so ugh. Can we just move away from the hanging tags forever now? And then this one is 49% polyamid, 42% polyester, and 9% spandex, just like the other ones. So let's go ahead and try this one on so that you guys can see how it looks. Okay, so this is a Razor Longline Seamless Sports Bra. What a name, huh? It's got a lot going on. It basically looks like a crop top. I really like it. It doesn't even matter what anything else feels like to me. It's very comfortable it stays in place and it's not really squishing me or sandwiching me which for me that's already just a plus let's start from the beginning it has a nice rounded neckline it has these little straps but if you're not separating them they basically join as one so i've been wearing this for like a few hours now and it doesn't feel like it's cutting into my neck or my traps at all super comfortable which is something that i appreciate it is very modest with this neckline and then as you can see there is no 
There is no side boob or anything like that. There's also no cutting in, as you can see right here on the sides. Super nice, super nice bra. The cup pads are here. I do have it with the cup pads on, but if it bothers you, you can take it off. One thing I'll say is that since it's ribbed, because of the seamless material that it's ribbed, it does feel very, very thick. So if you wanted to take off the cup pads, I'm sure that you would still be protected, especially in this color black. You would still be protected from like nipples or anything like that because it's such a thick material it is a long line bra so it goes all the way down past my ribs my very protruding ribs right here and it just looks like a crop top this i feel like this is like brownie part two very comfortable and sleek let's go ahead so you guys can see so this is what it looks like on the back. It is so beautiful and strappy. It is super comfortable, this strap right here. Nothing is cutting into me. This is a size medium, I did say that before, but nothing is cutting in. So it just feels very comfortable and looks very chic. I feel like this is great. I feel like this is great for going out if you just wanted to. This is great. This is great for everyday wear. It's not just for the gym department. It is anywhere you want to take it. Let's go ahead and try it for support. So I'm going to jump a little bit. I would say light to medium on the support, mostly, mostly medium. I don't feel like I would jump around so much. I usually don't jump around so much, but I would definitely say this is more like medium than light. There is one thing that I do want to talk about is that there is nothing pretty much holding the bottom of your breasts. So this is just a bra, you put it on and the compression is right here on this large lower band. So there is no seam or anything holding your breasts, your under, your under bust. There's nothing holding you in, okay? But it still doesn't feel like I'm um, loosey goosey. So for those of you who are bigger breasted, I feel like you will definitely have some support. Definitely stay true to size on this one. I usually size down to a small for anything that I might want some extra support in. But I feel like with my true size medium, there's really nothing for me to complain about when it comes to this one. So here we have the seamless legging and this one is in 25 inches. So this time they did not come out with 26 or 23. They just released 25 and that's pretty much it. My tall ladies and my short ladies, we just have 25 inches. So here's what it looks like. First thing that I think that you will notice is this gigantic logo. I don't know if you guys have been here before, but me personally, I'm not a fan of these huge logos. It's like a giant billboard to me. It's not their most attractive quality, but I guess if you really like the legging, you just gotta deal with it. There's nothing we can do unless you wear like a long tee or something like that that would just fall over your hip and that way you could cover it, but there's nothing we can do about this logo. It is sewn in. So, yeah, what can I tell you? Patula, you guys are killing us with these gigantic logos. Like, would it have been so much to just make it back here? You can make it as big as you want. Just put it back here. That way we don't have to, you know, look at it. <laughs> Sorry. So this legging does taper in a little bit. You see as how it goes inward. So that will help snatch you in a little bit more. And it does have three tiers of compression as per the usual. Similar to other leggings out there that do have three tiers of compression. This is just like that. So this is what it looks like. I'm not even sure you can see it here, but there's one part here that's thicker than one over here that's more middle and then one down here this is where it ends that is probably the thinnest part right there when you touch it with your hand you can barely feel that there's any ribbing going on right there but towards the middle and towards the top when you're touching it you can definitely feel the difference but not the last one so this this blue is like a nice marled blue i believe so the name of this color is tide so it is the whole collection I'm not sure if I said before, but the whole collection is based off of a Cape Cod kind of oceanic deal. That is the inspiration for this launch. And I think they did pretty good nailing the colors. The whole mood is just 
right there that vibe is just complete with this whole collection so uh, no front seam as you can see the gusset is visible from here but when we try it on I'll let you know if you can actually see it up close and personal and then here is what the back looks like which I'm sure is what you guys are most curious about you can see that the scrunch is there it's not very big in comparison to what an amplifier would be but is still there and then another thing that you'll notice is that it is kind of thick you'll notice that it is a little bit thicker than what you would say like an amplifiers maybe closer to what lazuli has it's a little bit thicker and then let's see how stretchy it is there's a little bit of stretch not so much but there is a little bit of stretch so the leggings themselves are stretchy believe me i had these on yesterday and i did a bunch of errands including picking up heavy boxes i felt like that was my workout and these leggings did not roll down did not move well i'll tell you about it later in in the try on part but these leggings are fantastic so these are made from a 49 percent polyamid 42 percent poly polyester 42 percent polyester and nine percent spandex so let's just go ahead and try these on and we'll see how they fit okay guys and here we have the seamless leggings so this is a nice and true high rise okay as you can see my belly button is here and that is where it's sitting so it is nice and high there is one thing about this legging is that you don't feel so much compression on the waistband i will explain why in just a second but i do want to talk about this specific legging and as i've heard all pretty much all the colors are having the exact same issue I would call it an issue depending on depending on how you see it okay so the compression on the waistband is not very much at all this is right now fitting as uh alphaly amplify from the collection here comes the sun the amplifies that came out with that launch were a lot more loose as in not as compressive as past amplifies so this does have that three tiered waistband however the waistband just feels very nice and stretchy okay super super stretchy there is barely compression here at all okay the waistband is pretty much here since it's nice and high waisted it doesn't roll down much i didn't experience any rolling down i had this on all day yesterday and i did do some bending over moves and it did not feel bad at all there was no rolling down no sliding nothing okay so i do have stretch here but i don't have extra fabric as you can see there's a little bit of barbie crotch going on but not crazy nothing going insane okay so it does have the great a great amount of stretch pretty much anywhere so that is one thing that if you do like to feel like you can totally move no compression no restriction anywhere this is a great legging for that so i'll test bringing up my knees okay so there is no constriction on my knees on my thighs on my ankles there's nothing okay nothing anywhere at all okay here's where i wanted to insert my experience so yesterday i went out to do a bunch of errands there was some heavy work to be done so i had to pick up bend down carry boxes bring them in take them out and so on and so forth and i did a couple of errands where i was in and out of the car and stuff like that and i did not feel like this legging constricted me at all so if i had to go out into the world with an alpha Lee amplify for like running errands and doing day-to-day -day things i would not be able to because of the constriction of the waistband this legging is not like that at all this is a good seamless legging but it is running ever so slightly larger so this is a medium and if i would have wanted an alpha Lee amplify kind of fit i would have had to size down to a small in this legging and that goes for any color from what i've heard other people say so i am confirming what other people are saying that this legging definitely runs ever so slightly large so if you are in between and you do not want extra room or 
not necessarily extra room, but if you do not, if you want compression, you should size down. If you're totally okay with having more room, then stay to your true size. Okay, so the sides have no contouring. It is just your basic blue marl color and it is pretty much everywhere. This is a light material, but it doesn't have any contouring at all. So you're not gonna find any contouring on this specific legging. Okay, and then here is what the back looks like. Once again, I just put it on, did not do anything to it. So this is basically how it's looking just on. I do have a uh, underwear under, it is a seamless thong. So there is not gonna be any specific underwear trying to undo do the scrunch we're just gonna allow the scrunch to do what it has to do okay and this is how it looks after fixing it up I did just go ahead and pull the material and accommodated myself just a little bit so that we can see what the scrunch is truly capable of I actually since I wore it yesterday I didn't really look so much at the scrunch but these leggings are so comfortable you can definitely just lounge in them which is strange for me to say about any legging and also a scrunch legging so this is definitely a really good legging in my opinion and yeah basically this is how it looks in the back as you can see it does give you a little bit of glute separation so it's great i don't think it can really compare to like an amplify or any of the other scrunch leggings out there but it is doing a good job in glute separation i would say it's almost just a little bit more than the sierras could so but this one is not the invisible scrunch this is a true and true seamless legging out there in your face kind of scrunch so these leggings definitely have a bit of a kind of like heathered marled print about them so this could definitely help you when it comes to kind of masking cellulite but i always say truly cellulite there is really no way to cover it so if that's a concern for you maybe just don't wear leggings i can't really tell you for sure but for me cellulite is always something that's going to be seen at least for me and i feel like these leggings might be able to mask or disguise it a little bit but it won't be a hundred percent i would say if anything you would have to go with a black legging in order to get that so possibly the black legging will be able to help you a little bit more but this material is very thin so it is going to stick to your body a little bit okay so we'll go ahead and do a little camel toe test and i'll go ahead and put the score right down here out of five five being the best zero being the worst Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do a squat test. Okay, so the length on these is 25 inches. It does pretty much feel like seven eighths length. However, I'm not sure if it's the fact that these leggings are so stretchy. I feel like I almost have them bunching up ever so slightly right here towards my ankle. It's not like a huge deal, but like I said, it could be the fabric and it could be sizing. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at these. As you can see, it just sticks out ever so slightly. If that's an issue to you, you might wanna consider sizing down, but it doesn't really bother me personally. So I like them because they feel so comfortable. So I think that seamless materials are less likely to pill. I have heard some people say about, say for example, their Alphalete Amplify, that their pilling is a lot, that they have a lot of pilling. I haven't experienced that myself, so I, I'm not exactly sure how these would do with pilling, but I don't think that they will pill so very easily unless you're using them a lot more than, than I would, I guess. <laughs> So it's kind of touch and go. You could have some pilling, but maybe you won't have some pilling. And when it comes to dander and pet hair, since this material is not exactly brushed, it is soft, but it's not brushed. I'm pretty sure that you can easily pick out the hairs or just swipe them away.
chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Okay, and here we have our six inch seamless shorts. I'm so happy to be saying that six inch seamless shorts. I know that this is probably going to be the one thing you guys go for. Maybe not so much the leggings because the leggings right now, you know, we're in spring. We're slowly getting out of that cold weather and getting into the warm weather of summer that's coming. And a lot of us are going to be going for the shorts. This is definitely going to be one of the shorts you might want to try. So this is very, very similar to the leggings. They do taper just the same, slightly, not so much. It's not like that, but I'm holding it both sides pretty much flat and just holding it up. So the Petula logo, as you can see, super loud right there. There's no need to even highlight that. Like you can just see it right off the bat. No front seam three-tiered waistband just like the leggings i think that you can see the three tiers better on this short than the leggings you can see the thicker part here the mid and the lowest part right there and then this little seam right here is basically where the waistband ends and the rest of the short begins they are nice and stretchy same as the leggings like they're pretty incredible and then here is the back okay it seems like they have a little bit of extra room on the glute area but of course that's going to be for your favor so if you want to really give the glute contouring all the contouring that you could possibly want they've got you and then you have the scrunch okay so the scrunch right here is stretchy not super stretchy but it does have some stretch i'm holding it from the top of the scrunch to the bottom where the crotch gusset is so let's see how that is once we have it on but yeah six inch shorts this is also in the color dune also size medium they did not come out with four inch shorts this time so if anything if you're a little bit shorter than say me who's five, seven and a half. You might want to try these and maybe just roll them up. You know, a lot of people do it. So let's go ahead and try them on. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so the waistband is very nice. These feel a little bit more true to size when it comes on the waistband because these are definitely more compressive than the leggings. These definitely remind me more of an Alpha Lee Amplify. Very nice and compressive along here. Not so much to where I cannot breathe, but these definitely feel like a true size medium. So as you can see, my belly button is right here and that is where it is. It is nice and high-waisted. I feel a little bit of it cutting into my skin, so it is giving me a little bit of that muffin top sandwich effect, but it's not so crazy. I can live with it. The waistband does have some compression, but it also has some good amount of stretch. Okay, so bending down, it doesn't feel like it's rolling down, and it definitely is not gaping at the back. It also doesn't feel like it has any extra material, but since the fabric is so stretchy, you can definitely stretch it out. It has stretch anywhere that I pull it, but it definitely does not compress me in such a way where I cannot breathe. And it also has enough fabric to accommodate me, even if I am a little bit larger. So I'm gonna bring up my legs here so that we can see if there's any rolling. And also we'll do some squats and I don't feel like there's any rolling coming up however I do feel ever so slightly a little bit of camel intrusion so just be aware of that there won't be much sliding up so these definitely feel a lot more true to size than the leggings these feel like a true medium should personally I like the leggings fit more just because it has more stretchy fabric and it allows me to feel a little bit more comfortable but if you want more compression more cinching shorts are definitely for you and definitely stay true to size okay and this is how the leggings look as you just put them on for the first time i have not done anything to adjust them i will in just a second so you guys can see what it looks like before and what it looks like after adjusting them but this is pretty much how it looks the scrunch seam definitely does do a good job however let's see how we can how we can adjust this to make it look a little bit more flattering for the glutes okay and this is how it looks after adjusting it it definitely 
definitely does do a good job to flatter the glutes. However, I would say that this is just a little bit more than the Sierras can do. The Sierras do a pretty good job when it comes to being a scrunch legging that's invisible. This one is not invisible. This one's definitely a scrunch legging, but I think it does a pretty good job. Another thing that I forgot to mention while I was showing this legging to you guys is that right down here on the bottom, it does say Petula and it has a little silicone that's facing me right now, but it has a little silicone that says Petula, which will allow these shorts to stay put and close to your body. These shorts actually do not feel constrictive at all. And if you shorter ladies out there want to roll it up to four inches or make it look like four inches or even more, these definitely don't feel tight, even though I've pulled them up along my thigh making them giving them a reason to be tighter but they definitely don't feel tighter these this is a nice stretchy fabric so i will make mention that it can give you cellulite especially in this lighter color remember i always tell you guys that like cellulite hiding cellulite is very touch and go it could work and it could not work but i definitely think that if you go for a darker color like a black or even a dark blue but this collection doesn't have any dark blues but if you went with black it would definitely hide your cellulite a little bit more with lighter colors it won't just keep in mind you could definitely still see some cellulite and the fact that this is a thinner material probably even more so the fabric on these is very nice and soft very very similar to that italian yarn blend that alpha lee amplifies use so if you like alpha lee amplifies you might definitely like these so we're gonna go ahead and do a little camel toe test i'll put a score right down here five being the best zero being the worst mostly i feel like it's just giving me ever so slightly some barbie crotch but the good thing is that i don't see any invasion down there which is wonderful because we don't have a front seam thank you patula for eliminating front seams <laughs> So when it comes to pilling and dander, like I said with the leggings, I'm not really sure how this would do on the pilling side. A lot of people say that Alp Alpha Lee Amplifies do pill. I said that already, but I haven't experienced that for myself. And with this material being so similar to the Amplifies, I feel like you could take it pretty much as the same thing because their materials are essentially almost the same. I'm not exactly sure if the composition is exactly the same, but they are very close. So it could pill on you. And when it comes to dander, I don't feel like it'll be so difficult to swipe the hair off of you because this is not a, this is not a brushed fabric. Part of my review is usually going on their website and looking at the description so I can give you guys the right information. I don't want to misinform you in any way. It's just something that I like to do. Give you guys the right information. There's no misinformation on this channel for you guys, none at all. So I'm covering my bases and looking up everything as I go along. And as I clicked on the Merino sweater just right now to look up the material and the price and everything, I just realized I wanted to go back and buy the other color, the sea salt, because this one is the gray one. And this is a size small. The size small is perfect and unfortunately it's sold out. Why? <laughs> I really wanted to go back and buy the, the beige one. I thought it was beautiful. That's a shame. Maybe they restock, maybe not, but at least I got the gray one. So this one is made of 42% rayon, 28% polyester, 22% nylon, and 3% spandex. So they've got a lot going on. This is a size small. And guys, when I tell you this sweater is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is oversized 
in its natural state okay it does have this v neckline as you can see but it's very stretchy so you can kind of give it like that slouchy look if you want when we try it on i'll show you what, what i mean but it does have this nice ribbing this is what it looks like up close and it's kind of like a herringbone kind of pattern because it's going slanted you know at an angle and i really like it it's just like this all the way around front back everywhere except for of course the cuffs which are this basic straight down and then around the hip straight down so this is a regular length sweater it is not cropped or anything like that if you're into the crop look you can always tuck it under your bra or something like that or into your jeans or however you like you can always figure out a way to crop these things if that's your look but i just really love it i did see sammy the owner of patula talking about the sleeves and how they made them in a specific way that they kind of bounce down like in this nice drape way i'll show you what she's talking about when i try them on but i really love this sweater the one thing that i will say about this sweater is how stinking heavy it is like i have it in my hand and this is a heavy sweater so if you're gonna take this to travel you might as well put it on you wear it instead of putting it in your luggage if you're you know doing the kind of trip where your luggage is important which all trips your luggage is important it's been a while since i've been on a plane so so if you're looking to travel with this one yeah i would definitely wear it instead of putting it in your luggage just because this is a really heavy sweater i can't tell you what exactly it weighs but i have it in my hand and i'm feeling the weight of it so let's just go ahead and try it on and we will talk about all the details okay guys and here we have this marina sweater and i do have to say that this is probably my favorite thing in this entire long it is just so divine so I love the way that this sweater fits it is just like I said before it is a little heavy but once you have it on it doesn't feel heavy on your body what it feels heavy is like if I were to say like I would put it in a suitcase it would definitely you would feel the heaviness and if you have it in your hand it definitely feels a little heavier but it is super lightweight lightweight as in lightweight on your body it feels comfortable it flows nicely and it's just so soft and i'm just so spoiled when it comes to soft things so this is what i meant when i was talking about the sleeves sammy the the owner of patula did say that she made the sleeve come down a little bit in like a more i forgot what she called it she, she called it something but it's like a more decorative fall not like a raglan sleeve where it's like kind of like triangular where it's all big and it comes to one but you can tell that over here it still has a little bit of i don't know what that's called drapery or dangling or something like that so this is a size small and it just fits perfectly it is naturally oversized so if you wanted to go even more oversized feel free to go even larger but i did decide to stick to a size small because they did talk about it being oversized and i'm not so into like the super oversized look so i feel like this one is just perfect you could wear it normal and flowy like this or you could tuck it into your sports bra and just have it nice and cropped however you want to do it it's totally up to you let me go ahead and show you guys how it looks in the back okay this is how it looks in the back as you can see it's drapey very nice and flowy full length I'll just show you guys how it looks if you wanted to crop it in the back that's basically how it would look this is all up to you guys however you guys want to wear it i myself would probably just wear it like normal but that's just me i do like long and flowy and something to cover my ginormous hips so but for anyone else if you're into showy being more showy showy that's totally fine you can wear this however you want and feel totally comfy and just it just gives you so much confidence you know so you can definitely wear it i'll take off this mic so it won't look weird you can wear it off the shoulder a little bit if this is your look the slouchy look okay either way 
with the bra underneath it totally goes especially with it nice and open but you could make it a one strap thing this is how it would look i just i love it it's very versatile versatile in the sense that you could wear it however you want it but it's so soft and comfy and i feel like it would do good to keep you warm for sure so okay guys and we have arrived at the end of this video so this patula haul has definitely surprised me just with the simple fact that they decided to do a seamless launch and I just I think it's wonderful that they have stepped up the game to seamless everyone does seamless Gymshark does seamless Alphalete does seamless Buff Bunny is doing seamless there's so many brands out there that are doing seamless and some people are very into it but some people are not if you're not and you want to know how it all fit I hope that this review helped you in some way at least so that you guys can know what it actually fits like what it feels like i hope i was able to convey as much as i possibly could what these pieces actually feel like when you have them on at least for me my favorite thing is this sweater it is just fantastic i feel i just feel so comfortable and i never want to take it off frankly i am such a sucker for soft materials though honestly i can't even express how much of a sucker i am for soft materials but i feel like this sweater is just phenomenal if there's one thing you had to get from this launch from this collection of patulas i would definitely recommend this sweater above everything else and that is tough for me to say because leggings is my number one thing always i did enjoy the leggings the leggings are fantastic but they run ever so slightly large i will confirm what everyone else out there is saying if you're wondering what are they saying they are saying what i just said that they are ever so slightly large so if you're in between and you like to feel compressed please size down consider sizing down because you will feel better if the waistband is not quite so large maybe at your ankles it could be a little bit large it was a little bit large for me on my ankles to say that this legging is not not amazing just because of the sizing that's wrong it is still amazing i had it on all day yesterday i never have amplifies on for an entire day i couldn't do it i just i couldn't do it it's not possible for me to say that this legging is not great that's not right it is definitely very good very comfortable at least for me i'm not a huge fan of major compression so i feel fine with them the shorts are a little bit more compressive and they, they definitely do feel more true to size however I think I might just return these and try to get them in black. I just really wanted like a bottom in black. I try to stay away from black specifically for that purpose to give you guys a better review so you guys can see it in true color. And these sports bras are phenomenal. What can I tell you about these sports bras? Can I even tell you any cons? So Patula has really done a great job at sports bras lately. I feel like every single one that they've been doing ever since last late last year they have just been hitting that mark constantly i have to say i am super happy about that and i feel super excited about the future for them they are definitely becoming my favorite brand very easily very fast it's kind of crazy to think that because they are a smaller brand in comparison to other brands out there which have a lot more followers a lot more clientele and whatnot but it just comes to show you that even small brands can just have that level of quality where other brands are just maybe they were up here but they're like they're slightly climbing down i am not gonna name any names but there's just some brands out there that are like not they're not doing it for me anymore patula is definitely not one of those patula is definitely hitting the nail on the head so i did want to talk real quickly about the pricing for these because they are a little bit expensive okay so first off this marina sweater super cute $59 you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and say it it's worth it try it trust me it's worth it if you like soft materials and you just want to feel like you're being hugged by a soft gentle cloud that just loves you eternally try it so the seamless shorts are $42 which I think are 
pretty reasonable. $42 seems about right. And the long line seamless sports bra is $40, which doesn't seem so outrageously expensive to me. And the title seamless sports bra, which is the slightly shorter one, not the long line one, the shorter one, $38, which seems reasonable. The seamless legging themselves are $64. So the highest price line that I've ever seen Patula go for when it comes to leggings is $72 so 60 so 64 definitely seems more reasonable so I have to say that when it comes to the price line for this launch it is more reasonable and a little bit more affordable than what they've come up with in the past and I did mention that there are other things that they have restocked and dropped and whatnot so I definitely suggest to you guys to give Patula a chance when it comes to the seamless launch this this entire seamless collection that they've come up with is definitely something to give it a shot if you're interested in seamless at all so I did mention earlier in my video that I am not sponsored and I'm still not sponsored now but I did want to let you guys know that if you use code Sammy that's S-A-M-I I'm gonna go ahead and put it down in the description box below it will save you five percent so I use her code her code is she is the owner of Petula so if you just put in her name Sammy it will save you five percent at checkout which helps it definitely helps and if you sign up for Petula perks and stuff like that it will definitely count towards the future if you ever want to shop back into Petula it will give you points and you can accumulate it maybe you could get 10 20 25 bucks off of your check out okay guys and that's pretty much it when it comes to this video i hope that it was helpful to you in one way or another if you have any comments please drop them down below if you have any questions about the leggings or the shorts or the sweater anything like that please go ahead and drop a comment down below if you like this video please go ahead and like it subscribe if you want to and ring the notifications bell if in case you're interested when i upload another video another active wear brand or maybe some dresses in the future we definitely need to do some dresses here or there i do want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you thank you and thank you again and i will see you guys all in the next video bye